Okay, welcome guys, and we are going to be talking about the anatomy of the Constitution. Um, and uh, so I'll get into that in just a moment, but just a quick reminder that there is also um, some notes that you can use to kind of follow along. You might have to kind of pause the video in order to kind of fill those out, um, but that might be an easy way to uh, make sure that you have some stuff, some kind of takeaways um, from today. So let's get started. And so our first uh, deal is Captain America is a big fan of the Constitution. That's what we're going to be talking about today. And just wanted to make sure it was recording. I had some issues last time. So the Constitution is a blueprint. It's a guide for how things are supposed to work. Um, it does not tell us every specific thing. And so uh, the Constitution was created in a particular time, and there were only those things going on. And so the Internet, or drones, or... Um, you know, stem cell research or any of these topics are not found in the Constitution specifically, so we have to use that as our guide to figure out what are we going to do. Um, the Constitution does contain about 7,000 words and it's broken up into three parts, which is fairly easy. Pre, preamble, uh, the articles and the amendments. Um, so maybe a good way to remember that is uh, pre-art men. Right, um, and so these two were the original, and the amendments were quickly added, uh, although some a lot more recently. So let's uh, get into that. So uh, the structure of the Constitution, right? Hopefully you're excited about that, like this guy. Um, so the preamble is simply this: it's the introduction. It states why the government exists, what it's trying to do, and generally it's trying to provide stability and order. Um, so they didn't want um, the, the kind of the chaos that was starting to emerge at the end of the Articles of Construction, Articles of Confederation, excuse me. Um, it wanted to protect citizens' liberties. So it wanted to make sure that um, the, the values that they fought for in the revolution were a part of the government. And it also wanted to serve the people. Uh, so if you want, for some bonus feature, you could watch Barney Fife and the preamble on your own time. All right. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, so uh, we're moving on. And uh, this is, I thought, uh, you know, fairly creative, but uh, an artist used all 50 states' uh, license plates and ended up creating um, the preamble right here. So we are the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union, right? Um, so uh, you can check it out. I think it's a pretty cool creation. So beyond that, uh, are seven articles. Let's get started. There are seven of them, and they each cover their own particular topic. And so Article 1 is all about the legislative branch and defines uh, what they're supposed to be doing as far as lawmaking and other um, requirements, but also the powers that Congress does not have. So unlike the Articles of Confederation, we have three branches. Each branch is responsible for its own particular uh, tasks and has its own particular powers and checks on others. Um, so Article 2 defines what the executive branch is. So this is kind of a new creation, the idea of uh, a president um, leading the country. Um, and so that president is tasked with the idea of executing or carrying out the laws passed by Congress. And Article 3 establishes the Supreme Court. Um, eventually it'll um, create some other uh, courts below that, but their job is to interpret the law, right? So those are our first three, and I feel like those are more um, well-known to other people. So now we're going to talk about a couple others. And Article 4 explains how the states are to relate to one another, but also how they're going to relate to the national government. So some specifics like uh, each state must give citizens of one uh, state the same rights. So, for example, if you're in Ohio, right, and you are an Ohio State fan, we have to give Michigan fans and Michigan players the same rights as uh, we get ourselves. Uh, additionally, another example would be like the national government protects states from invasion. So our military is in charge of keeping us safe, and uh, so you don't need your frying pans and baseball bats. Article 5 is um, probably the most important part of the Constitution, and I'll get into that in just a second, but um, it defines how to change the Constitution. So the Constitution is this document, uh, but it needs to change over time because at a point society decided that uh, women should be able to vote and that uh, slaves should be free and that 18-year-olds should be able to vote 
and we should define who's in charge if the president and the vice president die. Um, so it gets into those kind of particulars. Um, and so they propose on a national and state level, I'll talk about that right now using this chart. And so the amendment process is like this. Um, so step one is usually the most common, this kind of route. And uh, two thirds of both houses of Congress have to propose an amendment. So the House of Representatives and the Senate both need a supermajority, two thirds, um, to say that this amendment should um, be accepted as proposed. And then uh, you need three fourths of all state legislatures. So the, the state um, Ohio, of Ohio, the General Assembly needs to ratify that along with, um, you know, three fourths of other states. And then we have a new amendment to the Constitution, a lesser used uh, route is two thirds of states can ask for a convention uh, to propose an amendment to the Constitution. And if they wanted uh, three fourths of those, that state uh, special convention uh, could ratify an amendment and there it is in the Constitution. Uh, I can also take kind of some other paths, right? You can kind of see the arrows. So uh, this is the most important because uh, we could change the way uh, the Constitution structured simply by adding an amendment or uh, make an amendment to change something else, delete something. Um, we'll talk more about that as far as examples a little bit later on. Article 6 is the Supremacy Clause, so this defines the national government as the most supreme, and we have this phrase, the supreme law of the land, which is a good thing to know, meaning the Constitution is the highest law in our country. Um, everything else has to um, line up with that. The seventh article is just the ratification process of how the amendment of uh, the Constitution is okayed, and so now we're done. Um, hopefully, you were able to follow along in your notes and answer some questions as you went.